Okay, then we have next part is this this fuel injector injectors electric cable line remove and disassemble and this line goes in that area and it 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 ends in here and we need to hook up all of those cables away and I start my work in here that area and here I have first cable what I take out is this cable in here and this cable is this VVTI systems this uh, love love sensor cable and I need to press that in here and then pull out this cable and in that part I insert my label next okay and then I insert in that cable in here my this this note that part and there is like VV, VVTI sensor low area it means that it is in low low in this engine okay then then I need my duct tape and in here and then here I insert that part okay good now and then I continue Okay, and then we have next cable, it is this oil pressure sensor, and it's in here, in that, that part in here, and this sensor opens so that, that I press that side in here and pull out, in this way. And also in this sensor, I insert in here label in that sensor. Okay, and here is this oil pressure sensor, and I insert that in here, in this way, and then a little bit duct tape. Okay, good. Then duct tape in here. Okay, and now we have this part okay and then we look in there and there we have next sensor and next sensor is knock sensor okay and there is this knock sensor wire and it opens so that I press that part in here and then pull out And now, now the sensor is free and I I label also that wire. Okay and there is the sensor. Knock sensor is this name. And I insert in here this label. And then a little bit duct tape. Put duct tape in here. Okay, and now, now this part is fine. Okay, and then, and these are ready. We have next in here, and this is upper VVTI sensor, and I press in here and pull out. Press, and pull out. And in that part, I label to that, that sensor in here. Okay, and there I insert lab, labor VVT sensor up and timing chain. Here. Now there's this part. Okay. And a little bit duct tape. The 
is in their code. And then my next part is this alternator cables. And there is cables put just in that cable. And this cable opens so that I press in here and pull up in here and then the second what is this uh, 10 millimeter 10 millimeter socket and there is my my 10 millimeter socket and there is my tool and I open that now it's open Now I do so that I take this this bolt, actually this nut away, and this is then special nut because there is this moving system and this is only in alternator, and I do document in this paper note. Okay, and then I continue. Okay, and then I have in here those two things. First is this label in this cable set in here. I insert that one. In there. And then I insert duct tape. in there. This is alternator. Okay, this way. And in here, where we have this paper document, I insert in here part 7 and it's alternator. And I insert that duct tape in here. Okay, and then I take this tape away. Okay, good. And then I continue. Okay, and then I need to take these four fuel inhibitors, those electric cables away. And there is now idea that, that I Press my finger in here and then pull out this one. Okay. Okay, and there is this cable. The next one. All are free. Then we, then I can take next sensor in here. And this is sensor in in that location, and it's it's PVDI sensor. And then press in here down and pull out. Okay, and then I insert label two. Okay, and here is my label PVT sensor up and gearbox array. And it's, in, it's in here, and then I insert that in here, and then duct tape. One, two, three, one, two, three, 
bolts and one sensor what we need to open and this first and for that job I need 10 millimeter socket and I start I start in here this is first first is here and this is second and then we have in here this final super place what I, I open too Okay. And here we have this kind of small small bolts and I do this parts label. And then I take those all bolts away and we continue then. Okay, now all bolts are removed and they are in my hand. And then I insert in here this new, new info document, foil injection, injection fire support, bolts near gearbox and part 8. Here and then I then I insert my bolts in here. Okay, bolts are there. Okay, and then I insert duct tape in here. Okay, here is this bolts in here, and then I insert in there those labels. Part A joint to those minus cables in there. That one in here, and then also in that one. Okay, and then a little bit duct tape in those also. Here. And in here. Okay. Okay, and then then I I take this my part A document away and then we continue. Okay and then when I move that little bit there is there is one one sensor left in there and this is I believe that engine engine temperature sensor in here and this open so the press in here and pull out and it's in there and then I label that too. Okay and then I have label engine temp care box up array in here and in that part and then a little bit duct tape okay now now that part has been marked and now I think that that all 
wires are away and I can lift that cable set away. And from in here I lift that carefully in in that area. Okay good. And then our engine looks quite nice and then we continue.